Hey what's up everyone, welcome back to another brand new video. I'm going to be showing you the Death and Right add-on. Adds a whole set of armor, two sets of armor in fact, as well as two sets of different tools to use. This armor is even better than netherite armor, so you want to keep on watching to see exactly how well this armor does and how to make it. As you can see before me right here, I have the death right armor right here, and then I have the parsonite armor here. Now they are both different armors, there is a specific way to make both of them, but they're both very good and on par with netherite armor. So if you want a cooler looking armor, then you can check out this add-on and get one of these suits of armor, kind of depending on whichever one you like more. This one's just more of a red look right here, whereas this Parsonite one is more like, um, has more, you know, thorns and uh, skulls and everything sticking out. So kind of more like if you're in the nether or you're in the underworld ba area basically is mainly where you'd kind of think this would be used. You can also see it's like has like the spine on the back of the armor right here. It's a little nice touch as well. But I do like how the armors look that definitely made them unique and different from each other. Now before me guys, you can see we have a bunch of different tools right here. Now the Parsonite ones are a bit bigger as you guys can see right here. So here's the Parsonite sword. Looks pretty big compared to a regular Minecraft sword. And then here we have the Death and Right sword as you guys can see right here. So all the Death and Right tools are going to be regular sized whereas the Parsonite tools are going to be bigger. So we have the Death Knight's pickaxe right here, and then we have the Death Knight pickaxe, sorry, this one's the Parsonite one right here, the big one, and then the small one is the Death Knight pickaxe right here. Let me just put these back, and then we have different axe as well, we got the shovels, and we got the hose. You can see that the Parsonite hoe looks more like a scythe than it does a hoe. So I kind of like how big these are, and I do like how this axe looks right here. It looks pretty cool. So all different sizes, depending on whether or not you're going to be getting the Parsonite tools, or you're going to be using the Death Knight tools, but all pretty cool, all unique. Now you guys are probably wondering how exactly you make all of these. Well, if I just come over to my little crafting station I've set up right here, I'll be able to show you guys how exactly this works. So, you're going to need a few different items. You're going to need nether ingots, nether scrap, nether warts, wither skeleton skulls, and an echo shard. You also are going to want to grab some sticks for once you make the tools and everything like that. Uh, so don't forget the sticks as well. So once we're in the crafting table, you want to take a wither skull. You want to place it in the middle of the crafting table. You want to then take some scrap and place it in each corner like I am doing so. And then take nether wart and place it in the spots that are still empty. And that will create the death right upgrade smithing template. To make the other smithing template, you want to then take some skulls, place them in the four corners. And then after that, you want to then grab an echo shard, place that echo shard in the middle, take the nether scrap, and place it in the spots that are left. And once you do that, you will then have a darkness upgrade smithing template. Now I'm going to make all the different armor and tools that I'm going to be using today. So I'm going to make a full set of netherite armor and a full set of netherite tools. So if you don't already know, you want to take some diamonds, you want to then make some diamond armor, and you need diamond tools and armor first before you make any of the netherite armor. So let me just quickly here make some diamond armor and tools. I have now made all my diamond armor and tools. So once you do that, you will then be able to put one of them in, and then you want to take the smithing template, the nether upgrade one, and put that one in, then put some nether ingots in, and then you'll be able to make some netherite helmets. So after making all the diamond armor and tools into netherite, you'll then be able to start making death netherite armor and parsonite armor. 
I'm now going to show you guys how to make the Death Knight armor. So take a Death Knight upgrade smithing template and then take a helmet and take some netherite ingots. Now you want to make sure that you've made enough smithing templates because after you use a smithing template to let's say make a Death Knight helmet, you will then not have that template anymore. So make sure you have you make enough templates to make all the different armor and tools that you want to use. So now I have a Death Knight helmet right here. I can take that, I can then plop in a chest plate, and then after I do that, I can put in some leggings like so, take some boots. We got full Death Knight armor as you guys can see right here. So now that I have full Death Knight armor, I want to get some tools. You may notice that when you're trying to make some death right tools, you aren't able to use the smithing table like you normally would to make netherite tools. If I try putting this netherite sword in there, it won't go in, which is to do with the add-on. It's not having to do with anything with the game, it's how the add-on was made. So you have to take the sword or pickaxe, whatever it is you're making, then take a smithing template and put both of these into a crafting table and then you'll be able to make a death knight sword right here. So there we go. I'm going to then make a axe and then a pickaxe right here and a shovel and a hoe as well. So once you've done that, you then have a full set of different weapons and tools all being death knight, which is pretty awesome. So here's all the different swords, axe, pickaxe, shovel, and hoe for you guys right here. So that's all you guys need. Just need these materials here. You need a crafting table and a smithing table, and you'll be able to make this death knight armor and the death knight tools. You may be wondering, now that we've made the Death Knight tools, well, how do we make the Parse Knight tools? Well, let me show you guys. Remember that other smithing template I made earlier? Well, that one we're going to need to make the Parse Knight tools. Now, like before, make sure you have enough of that smithing template to make all the different Parse Knight items. Go to a smithing table like before. Grab that Darkness Upgrade smithing template. Throw that in. Throw some netherite ingots in and throw your death knight helmet in as well. And you will then be able to make a parsonite helmet. Now you can repeat that same thing for all the different pieces of armor that you have created. And then for the tools, you can actually this time put it into the smithing template. And you'll be able to make a parsonite sword like so. Or you can make a parsonite pickaxe. Now, it is a little weird that the Death Knight one you have to make into the crafting table for the different tools. But for the Parsonite ones, you can just put that into the smithing table. I'm sure this is a small thing that will be fixed in another update with the add-on. But for right now, at the time of this video being uploaded, you have to make the Death Knight tools in the crafting table, but the Parsonite tools can be made in the smithing table. Once you've done that, you have yourself some Parsonite armor and tools. Now look at me guys, check me out. Ah, I'm full suit of Parsonite armor, and I got all the different tools as well, all being super big than the regular Minecraft size. <laughs> I like the Parsonite Axe more than the Death Knight Axe as well. Let me show you guys exactly how well this armor and tools work. So, I have the Parsonite armor on right here. I have the Death Knight Sword and the Parsonite Sword. I kind of just showed the difference. I have some husks right here. I'm going to use the Parsonite Sword right here. That took two hits to kill that husk. Let me spawn another one and use the Death Knight Sword. So, that one took three hits. Let's try one more time with each one. So boom, two hits on the Parse Knight Sword and three hits on the Death Knight Sword. So it doesn't take very long to kill these guys. Now let me kind of just show how much damage I'll take from this. You can see the hearts aren't moving very much, whereas with some of the other armor, it may take... It will take the hearts away a bit quicker, but with this one, you can see I can just stand here for a bit. It's not doing anything as... And you can also see that because my hunger is still pretty full, that I'm healing as well. Let's see how much damage everything took. You can see 
it's all pretty much for the most part full. It did take slight damage, but it's still pretty full on the damage bar you can see right here. You can see each piece of the Parsonite armor has a different effect on it. So there's plus one tireless on the helmet, plus one wither immunity on the chest plate, plus one darkness mastery, and plus one unstoppable. Now all these different effects help with you being pretty unstoppable, pretty good at being able to take any damage. So with all these different effects together, it makes it harder for my hearts to go down. Also makes it so that my armor doesn't take a lot of damage and because it's also basically using netherite, it's already pretty strong. But let's check out the death netherite armor right here and see how well this holds up. So let me just take off this armor here, throw all this on right here. And you can see that Death Knight doesn't have any sort of effects, whereas the Parse Knight has different effects depending on which piece of armor you have on. Now these Parse Knight uh, pieces of armor will still have whatever effects it's using. So if I wanted to use the chest plate but no other armor, it would still give me this plus one wither immunity. Now the Death Knight chest plate is on par with how well it does compared to the Netherite armor. So let's just spawn a zombie right here and just see how dam much damage it does. You can see my heart are going away a bit faster, but let me get some food and kind of show you guys. Now after letting that husk attack me for a little bit, you can see that the armor took damage but it barely moved with the damage bar as you can see just like the Parsonite armor these will both be able to take a lot of damage and barely have any sort of damage happen to the armor itself and you'll be able to still stand pretty well with your health now I filled up my hunger bar my health now let's do this again and see how much damage it really takes if you were ever afk you'll won't have to worry too much about how well your armor is going to hold up or how well your health is going to be you'll be able to you'll be able to resist any damage pretty well you'll still take a little bit of damage to your health and the armor may take a slight amount of damage but you'll still be doing well and fine obviously you'll still want to make sure you have food and everything like that but you won't have to worry too much about refilling your health or anything like that as long as you have full hunger bar because your armor pretty much absorb the damage for the most part leaving only a little bit to affect your health let me know what you guys think of this new armor in the comments below and what your favorite armor or weapons may have been and like i said before don't forget to leave a like hit that subscribe button it supports the channel a lot and i'll see you guys next time